What's up, people? This is your boy, Charm City Gamer here, back with a little special treat. And as you know, how in a cell was last night, but rather than talking about it like I normally would, I decided to do a little simulation of the main event and how I feel it should have went down. So we're going to do the boss, Sasha Banks, against Charlotte in a Hell in a Cell match for Sasha's women's title. I'll talk about the preview before we actually get started with the match. Here we go. Live from Boston. Obviously, you won't have their special entrances. That's the best I can do. The I know they lost Angela, but it's pretending from Boston. Hell in a cell match. It's pretending from Boston, for people. The WWE Women's Championship. Yeah, great, Lillian. Man, listen to the booze for this so-called queen, Charlotte. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad it's not me climbing into that ring. Hell in a cell is as vicious as it gets. Doesn't appear to be showing any signs of intimidation heading into this one. Well, you want that I actually thought we would see any. Yeah, well, this is it. History right here, folks. I'm just not going to get this whole thing because I'm copyright shit. And here comes the boss. I know, quite earned And introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts. She the is the WWE boss. Women's Sasha Champion. Banks. Sasha Banks. Look at those eyes. The champion has no plans on relinquishing the gold tonight. He may be surprised. You know, I really like the champion's chances here in this game. Don't worry, man. Nobody gonna take it. Cause the girl gonna push him all out the way Yeah, alright I'll probably have to put in my, uh, my enemies in the journal if they actually find some music, so I won't be bothered by that Other than that, we'll be fine I got myself in that own And I ain't gonna hold This is it. I want to sell to the Women's Championship. Oh boy, look at the goal. This should be an outstanding match. So Loring, they're getting ready and we are on. And now, just hang on one second. Okay, people, let's talk about the pay-per-view itself. It started with Reigns and Rusev inside the cell for the United States Championship. It was a pretty good match, I'll say all things were told. Um, had quite a few good spots, including one where Rusev had Roman on the steps using a steel chain to enhance the pain of his accolade, but Roman managed to deliver a Samoan drop to break that, which is pretty damn earth shuddering in, in, in that respect and the fact that it probably wrecked the hell out of Rusev's back and then you had um and then you had Roman hitting a spear off the steps to retain the title pretty damn good opening match not the best of them all but pretty damn good then you had Bailey taking on Dana Brooke it was a pretty quick match but great in-ring psychology from Bailey because she came out with the kinesio tape on her on our injured arm and Dana kept targeting it in the end um Bailey went for a Bailey to Bailey and Dana blocked it, and then, um, but Bailey hit it, went for a second one, and hit it for the three count. And then, Enzo and Cass went to war with Gallows and Anderson, and despite our other strange as hell promo where they made a twisted Toy Story reference somehow get over, um, it was a pretty good match, but in the end, the club gets a surprising victory over Enzo and Cass. I say surprising because, well, let's face it, uh, the club isn't exactly relevant without AJ right now. So to see them go with a far more popular Enzo and Cass is kind of surprising, but hey, I don't work, I just watch. Then you had, um, then it was, uh, shit, I can't remember. Then it was Kevin Owens against Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. For the Universal Championship, and, uh, and that was a damn good match. I mean, there was this one spot where Rollins threw Owens through a couple of tables outside the ring. But as we all expected, Chris Jericho got involved in the match. And it was thanks to him, mostly, that Owens was able to escape with the title. And he also, uh, to 
finish it off, KO gave Seth the powerbomb through two chairs to get the pin to retain the belt. And then you had um, TJP, TJ Perkins against Brian Kendrick for the Cruiserweight title. Crowd was dead as hell. I don't know why. I guess they didn't build the Cruiserweights up right on it or something. I'm not really sure why they were dead personally. But I honestly thought it was a good match, and it was it was a great move by Kendrick to play on uh, the fact that, you know, Brian, uh, TJ rather, cares for Brian so much that he got suckered in when Kendrick faked an injury. You know, TJ helps him up, being the good sport he is. Kendrick hits him with a headbutt and then locks in the Captain Tuck for the surprising submission victory and becoming the new featherweight champion. And then, in the penultimate match, you had the New Day against the oddball team of Cesaro and Sheamus. And it was a pretty good match and a lot of good near falls. And toward the end, it looked like Cesaro and Sheamus were going to win the belts. But Big E, or rather Sheamus, rather attacked Big E with Francesca too, which is Xavier's trombone. And right as Xavier was in a tap out to Cesaro and a sharpshooter, Kofi hit Sheamus with a perfectly timed trouble in Paradise, drawing the referee's attention. So right as Xavier tapped out, um, the referee called for the bell on disqualification. So Cesaro and Sheamus did win, but they did not win the titles. And then the main event that everyone's talking about, Sasha and Charlotte, which we're about to do here, they made history. They had a hell of a fight. I mean, before the match even started, they had a they had a sell spot where it looked like they were going to climb the sill. But instead, Charlotte executed a power bomb through the announce table that looked like it was a pretty good spot there. And that power bomb made it look like Sasha wasn't even going to be able to compete, and they were going to just short changes. And Regis Jojo was saying, you know, Sasha is going to be unable to compete due to forfeit the new women champion. And right as she said new, no, Sasha just popped up like a freaking phoenix rising from the ashes, and just came in there and gave a show, show at the whooping of a lifetime, at least. And you know they banged, they bumped around beautifully for each other. There's a couple good spots at the tables, you know, not as brutal as as a men's so much, obviously. But what I really want to discuss is the finish. I mean, sure, or er, Sasha was going to give Charlotte a power bomb through a table, but given the damage her back went through. Um, she, her back gave out and she couldn't finish the move. And then Charlotte tossed Sasha into another table that she set up in the corner. It didn't break. Tossed her through it again. It didn't break. And then Charlotte hits Natural Selection. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, she'll kick out of that. She's kicked out Natural Selection a million times. But it turns out that got the pinfall, one, two, three. And Charlotte's now a three-time women's champion. So I have some things to say about this, you know. One, I I, uh, I am immensely proud of the ladies. They freaking killed it out there. They, you know, they got the main event spot They they uh, that everybody wanted them to get. They shine like hell out there. The only thing is, um, you know, she just got the title back, and now you're hot potatoing it to show it again for a third reign when the fans are clearly sick of her as champion. And, I mean, you do it to Sasha in her hometown. I mean, how dirty is that? That's a, that's a real deal if you ask me. But, I mean, hey. At the shows why SmackDown's kicking Ross butt in the in the brand split war right now. So I mean, maybe Sasha will get it back, maybe Charlotte will transition to a feud with Bailey for the championship, I don't know. But quite frankly, if it were me, I would have had Sasha go over in her hometown, you know, have a big confetti celebration. You know, just give the poor girl a break because she's earned this. I mean, she and Charlotte, I give them all their credit in the world to both ladies. They were they put on a brilliant show. I just feel that the winner should have been Sasha by far, but hey, I guess it just wasn't their night. I mean, maybe they felt she was too beat up from the back bump she took. I honestly don't know the reasoning for it, but um, if I learn anything based on Raw, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the Hell in a Cell preview itself. I thought it, w it was a, it was a, it could have been an A plus plus show, but due to that uh, finish at the end, uh, it dropped into about A minus, but still a great show. And now I'll be on to our simulation of the main event in just a sec. Alright folks, let's get this Hell in a Cell simulation main event championship match underway. Here we go. The Cell needs not wait any longer to claim his death. Uh, it takes a special over, kind of competitor to agree to get locked inside a Hell in a Cell game. Two warriors, two superstars, two immense talents. I love it. You know, and one right thing there. for certain fellas, the very future of the WWE is at stake here. We'll see who has the championship chops to get it done. 
Indeed. Now Sasha's going for Out a court. Ring. So I think she's got a baseball bat. Let's talk about the Excellent. challenger briefly. As the challenger, what does she need to do to win this thing? This is when all those I hours in the gym the finally the pay off. A chance no, to become I want the champion. I want else. A chance to forever have your name in the record books. Sasha, I've got what are you doing? About her, Ooh, neck breaker on the floor. That's got to hurt. To take down the champ. We neck breaker on the see. floor. That has got to hurt a little bit right there. Now Sasha's got a sledgehammer. Nice kind of right sure to avoid that sledgehammer. You definitely want to not get hit with a sledgehammer, that's for sure. Right off the ring, folks. That'll, that'll, that won't do any good for your complexion. That's for damn sure there, Shar Shar. Sash looking to use that hammer in Shar counters. Shar looking to do some damage there. Sash counters. Back suplex on the side of the hammer. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh now Sash gets the hammer. Sledgehammer. Now she's just going to town on it. Oh, this is brutal. That sledgehammer is a deadly weapon. Yeah, it is a deadly weapon, and the boss is using it to great effect right here. Getting the heck out of Charlotte. Oh, that sledgehammer right to the side of the head. The challenge Off the cell and oh my goodness. There's so much on the line for her here tonight. You can say that again, Michael. Great Trying to go for the bankrupt to the floor. Countered it. A picture perfect backbreaker right there. there. Charlotte with a backbreaker. Nice counter there. All right. Can you Bring it back between the ropes, Sasha, and that's a good back thing. In the ring. Now this is working it back in the ring where it should be right now. What's this? Back suplex? I don't know. Back back is in some real pain now. Nice move there, Sash. And something. Good and counter there, Mike Charlotte. Sash, they're going to get out of the way there. Sash, they're going to counter with a judge from her bag with that one. And the uh, Boston card getting a little electrified here by the boss. I'm glad I have a library card. Because I really like checking her out. Sasha getting this more red though. Extra slow regaining her base. And Sasha's like, get the hell out of my ring, bro. This is my ring. I'm the champ. She's playing a wide range of offense here. Like a Charlotte bro. She's putting the nice entire Divas roster on notice here. A bad place Ooh, to be for the challenger. But can she turn things around and defeat the champion here tonight? At this point, you have to wonder if doubt is starting to creep into the back of her mind. Talk about her size. Ego huge. Call. It's almost as big as yours, but I realize you have to be confident to be successful here in the WWE. But this guy is just being ridiculous. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like that. I That's love got her. when a diva experiments. Back of the head on the, on the, on the floor outside the ring. That's got her. There's no padding out there, folks. That's definitely hurting. Sasha Banks is really going to town right now. There's really no padding out there. It is so apparent, King. I don't know about that, but this area is so, so dangerous. Sasha just heading over by the door, by the uh, cell wall. So he definitely wants to put Char through it. Question is, will she get that chance? And she's back in the ring now. Sasha's still hanging out now. Oh, she's trying to bring the queen here. out here. She wants to fight her out here, and she's going to get that wish right now. Watch it, watch it. Atomic drop! That'll buckle your knees. Oh, wait a minute. Got a little freeze there. Hold on. Okay, let me show you on the highlight roll what exactly happened there since the game decided to go freezy freeze. I'll show you this way. Atomic drop, and then Char set up with a, with a uh, shot to the head with her elbow. Whoa, King! Okay. Just don't bring it over now, here! Ooh, right off this post. That's the second time Shara's head's gone bouncing off the post in this match. That is not good for a woman's head to be bouncing off the post. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. No, she's on now a she mission. Bounces off it again. Yeah, Third team, you can use this whole ringside area as a weapon. Oh, yeah. Everything from the floor to the barricades can and will be used to inflict pain. Man, she has the fascination and with grabbing Shara's head into the ring. Man. This is getting tough to watch. She looks nice unbeatable meet. tonight. Come on, Sash, get up. Up, oh, then you're back in the back ring. Back inside now. I think she wants to hit the spear and end this thing. Needed to decide it. Side of her. Back to a little bit of choke action. 
Champ not looking good right now. She has a lot to lose if she fine. continues to let the challenger in like this. The bottom line is she's winning. Yeah, it first may here. not be pretty, but she's uh, definitely yeah. been the more dominant force up yeah, to this point. Hey, at this that. point, she's sitting pretty. She can certainly withstand a little offense. Yeah, and it looks like this one's going out to the floor. I don't yeah. mind. Let's see a little outside the ring action. Okay, not drag her there. Charlotte reverses it. Counter. Okay, I can just lower it over here. Set this up right. Watch it. The human Have body up. can only absorb so much I of that. Okay, once you get outside the ring, anything can happen. Yeah, and it usually does. Over the years, I've seen more careers yeah, come down a bird. Charlotte, what are you doing? Outside of the Ooh. ring, that can remember, this area is yeah. so dangerous. She is such a professional. She knows exactly what she's doing in there. Charlotte, sure, what are you trying to do? Really injured the boss? I apologize for any dropping the frame rate or streamage. Sadness. He's putting the entire roster on notice here. Yeah, right. I'm trying to send her to the damn soap. Pull hide on that leg drop. I need to pull her out of here and send her to that damn soap. What do I gotta do? Again, the championship title at stake in this contest. And again, we reiterate, the championship title is at stake in this contest. Yeah, King, he just said that. She's going to need to dig down I deep if she top. wants to keep going now. Watch out! Oh, did you hear that splatter? It sounded like somebody took a racket to a wet blanket. Sasha Banks is making her presence known. The finality of this environment is so apparent, King. I don't know about that. But this area is so, so dangerous. I turned to whip the straw in the That was yeah. delivered with tremendous aggression. What type of competitor is favored Ooh. when you step outside Another the hit this game? Well, in my opinion, the more vicious, the more destructive person back in the ring. is willing to do absolutely anything to, do? to hurt his opponent, regardless of the consequences, he has the advantage. And then punch lands hard. Gosh, this is going to end well for somebody. I can guarantee you that. King, that's why you're the best color analyst in the business. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no shit, no. A nice shot by Charlotte. Charlotte, you quit sending her away from the still wall. I'm trying to get one of you through the still. She gets going like this. There's almost no stopping her. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. He does not want to go through that, wall, that door. He does not want us to go through that door. Okay, we're back. Let's see if we can finally get Charlotte through that door. It's almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. That's a spear. Doing a number now. If you manage to avoid that. And just iron flip her out of the ring. Talk to the door. Of course, she sends Sasha there instead. Well, the fans here in Los Angeles have been witness to many historic moments, including WrestleMania 7. Mm. Damn, that's got her. Well, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. That's gonna, that's gonna 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 steel, that. concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Outside of the ring here, there are so many different tools at your disposal. Yeah, they are literally everywhere. She looks unbeatable tonight. This may be turning into a brawl, King. Yeah, just don't bring it Ow. over here. Off the wall again. Off the dang wall. I want to send her to the dang cell wall. It ain't, it ain't working with me. Throw all over the ring with a strong Irish whip. Do you think the Irish were the first wrestlers to do that, Cole? Back in the ring now. Who knows? Tell nothing, King. And I'm sure we'll be able to see the handprint left by that chop. Now what you doing? She's starting to get on a roll. Oh, this could be exciting. Jarrett's getting a little strut. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be lit. Trying to humiliate Hold up. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Nah, I don't, I don't want to win that one. I'm going to put it through the cell, have a little cell punch. And it's Charlotte with a wherewithal to get out of the way there. We got to go. One. Well, we have oh, no. no, no, the champion 
kicks out before the Ain't gonna happen that way, Sharon. an amazing display of resiliency. Nobody home there. Nobody home. Oh, that looks like the house has been empty for months. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Jack is it. Ooh, big shot to the back. The champ counters, and you see the result. Yeah, Did you see that? Kill. 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 Was just thrown <laughs> outside the ring. I hope she's okay. was delivered with tremendous aggression. Out here, King, you can use this whole ringside area as a weapon. Oh, yeah. Everything from the floor to the barricades can and there will now be we can used to it. Watch this, guys. There you go. This is the cell. Oh, my God. What a move from Sasha Banks. That's how you make this crowd stand on its feet. This match has been awesome. That's what I've been trying to do this entire match for you people. Take a look at this one more time. I've never seen anything like it. Sure you haven't, Jerry. Now they're officially outside the cell. What are they going to do, I wonder? Let's find out. Another amazing singles contest. These two up. never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Good sport she is. What? What's she? Oh, my God. Is Sasha climbing the cell? Oh, my God, she is. She's going up there. He's up on There's the cell. The WWE oh my gosh. Back to Los Angeles. Would you listen to this crowd? They're absolutely electric. Right, Sasha's challenging her. Come up here. And here comes Charlotte. She's coming right up. They're right, gonna have a war up here. Dangerous up here. This is a dangerous. It's dangerous. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. You're right. It's very dangerous up here. I think Sasha so. literally wants to throw Charlotte off the cell. That's what she wants to do. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, Ooh. and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Okay, reverse bulldog now. You know, they want to put these each other through hell in this match. Literally. Alright, let's continue and see who survives hell. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Oh, nice counter. Oh, no. You ain't hitting the uh, natural selection up here. Forget about it. Bro. The lucky fans here in Los Angeles have been witness to many historic moments, including WrestleMania 7. And drag Charlotte towards the end of the cell here. What's she doing? Oh, back from a T-Bone suplex, folks. Great move. Oh, that team. was impressive. T-Bone suplex. I'm hungry now. There's no telling <laughs> what's going to happen here. An impressive strike there. Well, out here, you're going to be able to think on your feet Oh, God. It still nearly gave away. One mistake. One moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. It's dangerous up here, folks. Very dangerous. Oh god, now the other half almost gave away. Especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. The champ, just one step quicker. Ash, get out of that area. You're gonna go through the cell, and you do not want to go through there. She wants to do is throw Shark clean off it. That's what's gonna happen. Super kick! Show up to the table, oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this! Look at this! Now she, Sasha's up there alone, what's she gonna do? Takes oh my god! Wow. Elbow and strike out of the way! Oh my goodness! She oh goodness! Making her statement as we speak. This look is nuts. Look at her eyes. She's in the zone now. The champ counters, and you see the results. Now Sasha oh, really bounces out her off the cell. Rushing like people. Turning into a right ball, to the floor. King. Now, Sasha's going back this up? Is, is she nuts? So much out of her. She's already take she's already gotten almost thrown straight to the cell. She's out of her mind. Out of her mind, guys. 
If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a hell in a Charlotte cell working match way to get up. for the ages. Yeah, and that's saying something given the hell in a cell matches we've seen over the years. Playing my games. And now Sasha's yeah. challenging to come back up. And here, comes the, here comes the queen coming back up on the cell. Goodness. Goodness. All right. This will probably be the final, final ch uh, chapter here of this match. Let's see what happens. Watch back up there. Sasha going for. Okay. Oh my God! Charlotte to the top of to the roof of the cell, and these fans are nuts. Hey, Channing, this is awesome after she literally took a hurricane runner through the top roof of the cell. Now that is just dangerous. No kidding. That is dangerous. Absolutely nuts. That's it. She is out of it. No need to even get a submission. Just pin her. Pin her, Sasha. Just drop into this ring and pin her. One, two, three. It's Both over. These competitors have so much resolve. Oh, it's over. Here? I think so. One, two, three. It's over. Here is your winner and still the WWE Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. And what a match we just witnessed, folks. It was absolutely crazy. It speared through the wall. And man, was it not there. Now here's the real crazy stuff right up here. Up on top of the cell. Oh my god, what were they thinking up here? Sasha countered. And then this is the final pinfall. One. Two. Three. And the boss is victorious in her hometown of Boston. Still champ. That's what should happen last night, folks. I don't, know if, I don't know if we should add all the help to the stealth spots, but Sasha should have should have still be, uh, should still be champion. This was an awesome match and a great win. And what a spectacular win! But still, great, great match by both ladies. Absolutely tremendous. Tremendous on the WWE Network. What an amazing match! And the boss celebrates. And man, does she earn it! And that'll do it for this special treat, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, it's your boyfriend, Sharon Pity. Sharon Pity, going to sign out. Remember to check the video, to like, comment, and subscribe to me on the channel. And as always, keep it Sharon. Peace out.